All right guys, so today we're doing the install video over the next two days, one day for you guys, on the Pioneer Mini Split. Now, we did the Mr. Cool Mini Split in the big shop. It's been doing great, no problems at all. And unfortunately, I could not find that unit for a decent price. And when I bought that unit last year, it was 24,000 BTU. Um, it was a single head and it was about $1,100. Well. Not long after that, they were like $1,800, right? So I've seen the Pioneer ones are still exactly the same unit as the Mr. Cool, but it was still $1,100. All the reviews are good on Amazon about it. So we'll definitely put a link in, in the description for one of these units. And we're gonna show you all how to do it yourself. It's actually really simple. So we have a little bit of an issue here. Um, we have some damage on the head. Now this is the outside unit, the pump as you will. And a little bit smaller. This is an 18,000 BTU instead of a 24. But in the house part, this is way overkill, right? This is like absurd. Well, we have about 700 square feet. I think this is good up to closer to 1,000. Uh, but we rather have a little extra power than not enough power when it gets to be 100 degrees outside or when it gets to be really cold outside. So we have our line set right here. Then we have this damaged head, we're gonna go ahead and cut it open. So we're gonna to have to do, it's a little bit crunched on top. So we're gonna to have to pull a vacuum on this right away. And see what the situation is, All right? And you can see here, we'll get Philip to come in here and zoom. It just broke the little grate on the very top and bent the screen a little bit. So that screen we could definitely bend back. It did not, it barely touched the coil. It bent the fin a little bit, did not hit the main lines or anything. And that's it. So I didn't send this back. We got it, we just got it off the truck a little bit ago. Like if that's the only damage we have, I'm okay with it. I was afraid if I didn't accept shipment of this and I send it back, it's gonna be weeks or months before we get another unit in. Um, we're getting right at the time where the next few days is gonna be getting close to 90 degrees, high humidity. So we kind of want to get this put in. And I figure worst case, if this is bad, Amazon will send me a new head, but the rest of it's all good. So let's go ahead and I guess get it set up. All right guys, so we installed the mini split. The manner we had to install it is a little bit taxing. We don't have all the trim on all the pipes or anything yet. We just got it in, we just got it running. For our vacuum pump, our gauges, everything's still set up. But this is all unhooked. And we'll let Philip get you in here and show you the connections. And the situation here is, so your three connections come in here from your head, right? So it's black, red, white, and then green goes over to the ground. Your 220 comes in here, your black, red, and green goes over the ground. And that's how you hook it up electrically. Um, we kind of got the cheat on this a little bit because we, we already done the Mr. Cool. And so the Pioneer is pretty much exactly the same thing. Uh, this little piece here, you're supposed to be able to take that back off. It has a valve. But I just took it, went to take it back off and the valve's leaking a little bit of Freon past it. So maybe we should have took that off before we released the Freon, but that's not what anybody else would do. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. So, these units can be really good. Now, like I said before, this one's 18,000 BTU. It's kind of overkill for what we got. In the shop, we have a 24,000. Uh, this unit's about $1,100, about $1,000, $1,100 with all the stuff. Um, and we had the issue with Mr. Cool. That stuff was getting around $2,000 for the same unit. And as we hooked this thing up, we realized that all the connections were identical to Mr. Cool on the head and on the unit out here, it looks the same. Everything hooks up the same. All the connections are the same. The compressor looks the same. So I'm thinking probably it's the same unit, just two different companies put their name on it. Essentially, I'm gonna put a link in the description for the Amazon affiliate link for this. Now you guys can actually go in there and buy this unit. <clears throat> you could buy units that are 110 volt, that are 9,000, 12,000, 
18,000, of course, like here, 24,000, and they even have a 30,000 BTU. What would you use a 30,000 BTU for? A really big shop or something, not your house. And it's now Monday. So before we started this video, it's been a couple days. So I got to use it for a few days. It is brutally, it's cranking out so much cold there. We actually kept turning the thermostat up on it. And we set it all about 74 because on the one in the shop, I could leave it at 70 or 68. It's nice and cold, but since it's a smaller area where we got it, it's just like an Arctic breeze blasting on it and it's over there shivering in the chair, right? Trying to do stuff on the computer. So we turned it up. Overall efficiency is great. Uh, let's go inside and look at the unit in there. We'll finish the video out. We're inside, we're at the head and it's just like the, the Mr. Cool. The filter setup's the same way, everything's the same. The remotes here for each one. This is a Mr. Cool on this side. This is the Pioneer on this side. You say, well, this one doesn't have any buttons, but that's not true because it actually slides open. So the most important features on this, we still have the fanning motion. And you see it's doing it right now. The little door is fanning up and down. And that's also very much key into cooling your house because it's fanning the air up and down from the floor to the ceiling. And so you get a lot more even cool that way. Now, if you guys are interested in a unit with one outside compressor and many of these heads, they also have those. That's also an option. It's a lot more money. But if you need four or five different heads, you can run one compressor and you could have different cooling zones in your house where it automatically cycle one off and one on for different rooms. A lot of different stuff. Um, our gauge set and our vacuum pump, I'll also link that in the description if you guys need that. I dug through a lot of different ones. I did a lot of research and I found out what's the best one for the best bang for the buck. I also put the extra little fitting um, in the description that you need to hook all that stuff up. Okay, so we're in front of the AC unit in front of Mr. Cool and running like no other. One thing I would not recommend doing is we use the wall mount on this one. I wouldn't do that. The problem with the wall mount is you get vibration off of it. You see in the unit in the back, the Pioneer we just put in, we set it on cinder blocks, but four cinder blocks down and set it on top of that. Now, eventually I need to go back there with some Tapcons and Tapcon into the cinder blocks. So just in case you get the crazy wind, it doesn't blow that unit over. And also, I'd also recommend using some kind of thread sealant when you go to put the lines on. You don't have to. A lot of guys were doing that and actually after we installed it, we looked in the bag and there is a little packet of thread sealer in it. So you should have that with it. We had a little bit of trouble in the Pioneer getting that to tighten up correctly and not leak. And we use a little bit of Windex. You use soapy water, whatever you want. Simple green Windex, anything that makes bubbles. We spray it around the fittings. A little trouble with the one fitting, not getting bubbles coming out of it. And what's gonna happen if you don't pay close attention to that, eventually, if you have a tiny bit of leak, over the next year, it's gonna get low on Freon. So one thing I do wanna do, now we have all the gauges of the vacuum pump, I do wanna get a little bit of uh, the 410A Freon here, just in case one of these ever gets a little bit low, we could go and add to it ourselves so we don't have to call anybody, we don't have to do anything, and it's real easy. Also the gauge set, I'll link below, also works on uh, 134A refrigerant, for cars and all that stuff too. So it is a kind of a universal setup. If you don't like having to call somebody to come work on your AC, definitely worth a hundred and some dollars to get that set up. And then you're pretty much free. That's gonna be it guys. Hope you liked the video. We'll do a one year update, I guess on this or a six months update coming up. That's it. We'll see you later.